In this video, we will create the drawing that you see here. Start by doing new. Now we will create a horizontal center line. And again, make sure that uh, in order to have the snap mode, use right click and use the make sure the auto define point is on. So we're going to use our line. And in this case, the outer diameter of this ring is 52 and a half. So I want a center line at what will be x0. This is 26.25. Make it vertical, excuse me, make it horizontal, and just make it long enough so that it's wider than the diameter. Left click. And now we want to make another line there. We're going to go to our select, left click on it, right click, translate. This is like the offset. In this case, we want it four inches higher and then we're going to do that again so why? we're going to make it four inches below so we use the negative now we're going to make our vertical lines so we will select line and then we're going to right click we're going to use a feature here called reference reference move to this line that will pick the end point of that line we left click and then it asks us reference to that end point where do we want to start this line and in this case it's six inches to the right so we're going to put six on the X and now we can just right click vertical and just bring it a little bit longer than that and we're going to do the same thing over here. Reference that point. This will be minus six. And we'll do vertical. And there we go. Okay, now we can trim. Trim to object. And we can trim these lines here, but we have to split them because it is one continuous. There, there. Now we hit the select, select that segment, and delete it. And we'll do that again for here. Now we will trim that. Use the trim to object. Now we want to create the circle. So we're going to select the circle. And again, because we have our auto define point mode on, we can, we hover over here, you can see it attaches to the midpoint of that line. I'm going to left click, and I'm going to right click properties, and we want our di diameter to be 52.5. Okay. Now we are done with this line, this construction line, so we can delete it. And now we just need to clean this up here. First thing we want to do is split. That delete it. And now we can trim. Trim to object. case I selected the wrong line and okay, now we can zoom out to all and we're going to zoom in this area and we're going to do the same we're going to split it split object two points and then we're going to use the trim to object again
and zoom out and there's our drawing we just need to save it now and it is ready to bring to nestmaster to create an output file thank you for watching